Welcome to the Eurocom upgrade guide for the Alienware M15X. I will be doing a very easy upgrade of the graphics processor from the AMD Radeon Mobility HD5870 to the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680M and AMD Radeon HD 7970M. Both of these upgrades provide significant performance boost to the M15X, as you will see in our benchmarks at the end of the video. Shown here are the two optional power supplies or AC adapters for the M15X. Uh, for this upgrade to work, for either the 680M or 7970M, you will need the larger of the two AC adapters, which is the 240 watt AC adapter. Eurocom provide upgrade kits for the 7970M and 680M video cards in the M15X. Customers can purchase the upgrade kits directly from Eurocom or from our eBay page. Detailed purchasing instructions are in the video description. The upgrade kits include the video card, thermal paste, thermal pads, screws, instructions, thermal pad layouts, driver disc, and brackets. Everything you need to quickly, easily, and painlessly upgrade the graphics performance of your M15X. We also offer upgrade guides for other Alienware notebooks, Clevo systems, and nearly every other notebook that can be upgraded. Please contact our sales and technical support staff at sales at Eurocom.com to inquire. We are obviously starting with the 680M upgrade, as you can see. Before you start the upgrade, ensure you are prepared with the proper tools. You will need a screwdriver, ESD protection, which ensures you don't damage any of your components due to electrical shock, owner's manual, and this video close at hand. As you can see, my ESD protection is the green strap around my wrist with the cord. As you can see, removing the video card from the M15X chassis is quite simple. Remove the bottom plate, remove the heatsink, and then remove the video card as per the video. It is very important to prepare the new video card for proper installation. The, the thermal pads must be in the correct location and the thermal paste must be applied correctly to the die. Improper thermal application may cause the card to overheat. In the thermal pad placement image, you can see where to apply the thermal pads to ensure the requisite components on the card are cooled during operation. You need to make sure the pads make contact with the heatsink after installation. To do this, press the card against the heatsink and visually inspect it before you install it. To install the card, firmly press it into the slot at a 45 degree angle. Then press down and screw it down with the two screws. Now you can see the difference between the two cards. To apply thermal paste, you can simply replicate what I do here or watch our thermal pads and paste application guide video. Install the four screws around the GPU die in a crisscross manner. After the heatsink and fan are installed, simply put the system back together, install the battery, and plug it in and power on. After successfully installing the video card, Put back all the plastic coverings, install the battery, plug it back in and power on.
After startup, insert the supplied driver disk, open it up, and run, and run the setup exe file. Follow the prompts as per the video. As you can see, after the driver was installed in the NVIDIA control panel, the 680M, it's 1,344 CUDA cores and 4 gigs of DDR5 memory appear. After the driver is installed, be sure to monitor the temperatures of the card to ensure it is not overheating and the thermal solution is applied correctly. Unusually high temperatures can damage your new video card and other internal components. Benchmarks of the 680M in the M15X will be supplied at the end of the video so you can see the performance. Now for the 7970M installation. As I said before, this is a very similar process to the 680M, but I'm doing it with different angles to give you different perspective. Again, benchmarks are at are at the end of this installation. Here is a picture of the upgrade kit to show you what you receive with the kit. As you can probably tell, much of this is sped up to keep the video within a reasonable length. Power on, insert the driver disk, and run the setup utility to install the drivers. After you install the driver in the Catalyst Control Center, you can see that the AMD Radeon HD 7970M appears with its 2 gigs of DDR5 memory. Now for the benchmarks. 
After installing each card, we ran the gamut of benchmarks on the M15X to show you the performance. First are the 3D Mark 11 screenshots of the 680M and the 7970M. Feel free to use these results to help in your upgrade decision. At Eurocom.com, we have an entire catalog of benchmarks for your enjoyment. Eurocom provides upgrade kits for the 7970M and 680M video cards in the M15X. Customers can purchase these upgrade kits from Eurocom directly or from our eBay page. Detailed purchasing instructions are in the, in, are in the video description. The upgrade kits include the video card, thermal paste, thermal pads, screws, instructions, thermal pad layouts, driver disks and brackets. Everything you need to quickly, easily and painlessly upgrade the graphic, graphics performance of your M15X. We also offer upgrade guides for other Alienware notebooks, Clevo systems and nearly every other notebook that can be upgraded. Please contact our sales and technical support staff at sales at Eurocom.com to inquire about upgrades or our brand of fully upgradable notebooks and mobile workstations. Thanks for watching.